Yup, this is a brand new bike that Harley Davidson is building, the HD350 and the HD500. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So today we're obviously going to be talking about this 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 thing right here. These these brand new bikes that Harley Davidson is building, the HD350 and the HD500. And you must be asking yourself, what are we going to be doing with these small bikes here? Like, people already kind of hate the Sportster in a way because of how small it is. But don't worry, this parallel twin is is not for the U.S. market. In fact, it's for the Chinese market. So somebody actually sent me this link and I thought it was pretty uh, pretty intriguing, looked into it, um, and it's right off of Cycle World. So obviously it's a bike that Harley Davidson is doing for the Chinese market, obviously a smaller bike. Um, and the Asian market and the European market, obviously there's a lot smaller bikes, a lot smaller cars. And these smaller bikes are intended for everyday use, small commuter bikes just to get around Let's just dive into this. Let's read a little bit off of uh, what Cycle World got on the website here so you guys can know a bit more. Then we'll dive into what I think about the design um, and yeah, all that good stuff. All right, so here it says, the idea of a small parallel twin Harley-Davidson was first announced way back in 2019 as part of a plan to join forces with China's giant Qian Jiang Group. I don't know, I'm, I'm butchering that name. And not one but two such bikes have been type approved for sale in China. So from this, we know that Harley Davidson is working with this Qian Jiang Group to produce this bike for the Chinese market. Okay, let's keep scrolling down. Um, as shown in the photograph, uh, accompanying the type approval, the production machine is essentially identical to the sketches Harley showed back in 2019 with a flat track inspired shape. Um, it's wrapped around a set of ready-made chassis components largely borrowed from the Benali 32S Roadster. So obviously now we've got another company which they're sharing a frame with. Benali is also of course owned by the Qianjiang or Qianjiang. Somebody help me pr pronounce this word. But uh, Benali is also owned by that group as well. Uh, also uses the same parts as well. So we got a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of different companies using kind of different components uh, from different companies, all sharing uh, frames, motors, and parts. Um, okay, let's talk about horsepower real quick. Uh, so. The 350 is good for 36 horsepower, weighing around 430 pounds. And the top speed for that is 89 miles per hour. You have a wheelbase of 55.5 inches, while the wheel, which appeared identical, those used to the Benali 302S, the bike comes weighing around 456 pounds. The uh, 500 makes around 47 horsepower, uh, 500cc. Um, with top speed of 99 miles per hour. So obviously small bikes, um, I mean th th this bike honestly in the US market will not work out, this bike will not sell. Alright, let's talk about looks. Um, obviously they spoke about the, uh, the design, they got a, a flat track design type of look to it and yes I see that. I kind of also see a little resemblance to the XR1200. Um, I mean the, 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 the bike is okay, it's kind of like a naked bike. It's, um, it, it, it looks okay. It's nothing, you know, nothing crazy. Um, the 500, the tank kind of reminds me like of a Triumph tank. Uh, eh, you know, nothing crazy. Um, yeah, to be honest, I'm not really crazy about this bike, this design. It's, it's, it's kind of like a wannabe XR 1200. Kind of, kind of wants to be a flat track bike and kind of, I don't know, kind of, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a mix. It's definitely a mix, to say the least. Um, like I said before, the, this I, I personally don't think this bike would work out here in the States, obviously because of the low CCs and just the design overall. Um, I think that the U.S. market is, is definitely into uh, different styles of bikes when it comes to what we're looking at here. Um, I mean, pretty cool, though. Uh, Harley 
Davidson working with uh, different companies around the world. It's not unheard of for companies to build vehicles or, or bikes different for the companies. Like, you know, if you, if you look around, Ford makes different cars for the Asian market. Toyota does the same thing. Um, all, all, all type of companies that they make different vehicles pertaining to the market, which they're, they're, they're gonna be reaching out to. Um, even in South America, there, there are some cars that even US companies make for them that they don't make for us just because they won't sell in the US market. Um, so it's uh, you know it, it's uh, that that's that's what they, that's why there's colors because there's so many colors and people like different stuff you know and everybody's not like the same thing. Um, but yeah, what you guys think about this bike? Do you guys agree with me? Do you think this bike would not sell in the U.S. market? Do you think it would? What would you think? This is something. This this I don't know. Like this is something like since Harley Davidson doesn't have the street anymore, the Street 500. Like, would you like to see this bike replace the Street 500? The Street 500 was mostly used for that campaign that Harley Davidson was doing for a while, where you signed up and you were able to get your endorsement with them, and that's the bike that you practiced on. Um, I actually took that endorsement class. I, I took it on the Street 500. Um, it was it's a very easy bike to ride, and um, obviously this they discontinued it. So, I mean, this seems like it could be a new alternative for that bike, unless they have something else for us for 2023. Anyways, that's gonna be it guys. Just kind of wanted to share this with you. Obviously, we're always sharing Harley Davidson news on this channel where we're not working on the bikes in the garage. Um, and uh, guess what? I have some huge news. I got some huge news. The Lowrider S. The Lowrider S is, is kind of getting a brand new engine. So there's, if you want to see what I'm talking about, tune in next week and you'll 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 see what we're talking about. That bike is still over at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop, uh, getting worked on. So yeah, uh, it's gonna go to a 114. To uh, <clears throat> I can't say, but to take a wild guess, what do you think I'm doing with the Lowrider S next right now? Um, I gotta wrap this up and go drop off the side panels for the FXR right now to get painted. Um, I ordered some panels from Arlen S. So we're gonna paint those white with some gold trimming on them, looking nice. Then we got the Rogue Glide right here, which is gonna get a brand new cam next week as well. So all the bikes are being worked on, it's plenty of content coming. So tune in. Thank you for always watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Happy holidays. And like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.